Hello, industry professional Patrick Stack here, executive director for Sports Biz Cares, here to talk about Sports Biz Camp's 2021 career exploration camp presented by Body Armor. We did a number of orientations and wanted to make this video for those of you that weren't able to attend. Um, you've also got a lot of emails from us, but we thought to kind of make sure we sent some emails, uh, try to get the orientation sessions going, and then create this recording if you don't want to read all those emails or are looking for some additional contact. So I, I will jump right in. I will try to speak and um, I tend to be very, very quick and fast, especially when I'm recording to myself, but I'll try to slow down, but want to make sure I can be uh, efficient and, and effective in getting you guys the information that you need uh, in order to uh, have a successful experience with our organization. So the event is July 13th and the 15th and the 20th and the 22nd. So if you're receiving this, you should sign up for one or more of those dates. The time is 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern, each of those uh, times. So our goal for today is to put you in a position to succeed so we can put our students in a position to succeed. Um, so what this event is all about. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of information about our organization, our overall mission, which is to increase social mobility um, while expanding divorce, diversity in the sports industry. Um, for this particular event, how we go about doing that is we introduce career pathways to, in sports to high school student athletes and sports fans. And, and in, in this instance, you all as professionals are going to interact directly with the students, showing them what a career look, looks like in sports and the pathway that, that they could take to get there, right? So it's all about pathways. Important disclaimer, these are high school students only, no college students, all right? So that's why there's so much discussion and focus around college, because for many people, the vast majority of people that work in our industry, college is a, is a necessary step. It's also a confusing step. It's an expensive step. Um, so we want to make sure we can do whatever we can to help these kids make the right informed college decision as they think about a career in sports afterwards. Um, the previous presentations, this was a goal slide, but now this is a real slide in the sense that these are our numbers to date from a registration standpoint. So we have 912 registrants um, from 46 different states. Really great number, our goal was 1,000. Now, uh, important to note, we don't expect all 912 or hopefully 1,000 students when registration closes uh, end of day Friday. Um, but we want to make sure we get that number out there. And, and we do have a significant amount of attrition from time to time because our events are free, things come up, it's virtual, so on and so forth. Um, but that's a really strong number. That's our goal. And, and I think hopefully speaks to um, the, uh, the, the resources that we, we put forth to try and attract students and obviously um, to bring amazing professionals together, such as yourselves, to make this a really rewarding experience. So we feel good about that number, um, but do expect some attrition. Um, but, but to be able to get 46 different states represented, including Hawaii and Alaska, is pretty amazing. We're very proud of that. Um, these are, uh, we have 150 different industry professionals volunteering their time um, from 110 organizations. And, and they're going to be speaking across 19 different career pathways. And you can see a number of those organizations represented here on the slide. So you're one of them. So thank you. So now let's jump into where you come in in your role. So you're a part of the pathway roundtable portion of the program. So it's 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern each of those four days. And ultimately, students will have self-selected your specific career pathway as something that is of interest to them. And they'll do that in advance. Uh, they're going to come in. You're going to sit down. You're going to talk about your career path with these students that have identified this as a potential area of interest. Okay, So it's about conversation. Um, but it's important to know that these students have identified your career path is something that might interest them. And, and clearly you all have something in common, your passion for sports. There would be very few people that came here that don't love sports, right? That, that their love and passion of sports is driving their interest in a potential career in that industry. So you were probably the same way when you were in high school. Here are the 19 different pathways that we'll be featuring. So you would have signed up for one of these 19 different pathways. Uh, as a frame of reference, we've done this event uh, two times before, once in person and once virtual. The first time in person, we highlighted four pathways. Last year, virtually, we highlighted six. Now we're doing 19. So it's 3x what we've ever done. But the platform that we're using, which is Airmeet, um, I think lends itself to it very well um, and ultimately makes things um, really flexible in the sense that we can have a main stage, but also put you guys in a small round table, be able to have those conversations. So 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., they're back to back 30 minute round tables, up to 10 high school students per table. And then Unless otherwise told, you will be joined by at least one other industry professional. So this is not all riding just on your shoulders. And your role is to lead a conversation, not to lecture. No one likes to be lectured. When I was lectured, that was because I was usually in trouble. 
or eventually I'll be bored by being lectured. So we don't want a lecture, we want a conversation. So you wanna to talk to them about the road you took to the career that you currently have, and obviously discuss the, the career you currently have. Um, and then as we think about that road, they're in high school, talk about that transition from high school to college, and then talk about that other transition from college to career, because for any student that aspires to do that, they're gonna to have to probably go through those steps. Uh, who are the students? So they're from 46 different states, as I mentioned before. Almost all of them will be student athletes, and that's both not just by um, their inherent interest because they're an athlete and they want to work in sports, but um, from a marketing standpoint, we that's who we targeted through our channels was relationships with athletic directors, coaches, and individual student athlete databases. So that's who we're going to be attracting. So as you start to think about your delivery and how you want to help these students. These are some of the intended takeaways we want them to have as they walk away from your roundtable discussion. One, I know there are I know there are, are ways to work in sports. So right now, if you're a high school student athlete and you say, do you want to work in sports? They would say, I know of four or five jobs, coach, GM, trainer, broadcaster, right? Maybe that's it. There's clearly a ton more jobs, but they don't know that because they don't see that those people don't interact with them. So we're going to try to illuminate those different career pathways to them. So that's one takeaway. Takeaway two is helping them make a more informed college decision. We are not saying you have to go to college. We're not even saying you have to go to this specific college or be in this specific major, but we are saying the majority of people in this industry and the majority of people professionally have a college degree. So we wanna help you make an informed college decision, understand what you're signing up for, understand the costs associated and understand what it's actually like to be in college. So this is not, you need to go to college. This is here are the things that you need to have uh, under consideration as you think about that decision. And we want to make them feel more informed about that process. And lastly is like getting them started networking and talking to strangers and building relationships with people. I mean, you're a complete stranger to these folks. So there's probably going to be a lot of stranger danger to them. And, and, and once again, you're an industry professional that they're maybe they're intimidated by, but if they can get comfortable talking to you, maybe that can build momentum for additional conversations, additional curiosity, additional relationship building. And, and I think as you would know, as an industry professional, that can be incredibly valuable as we think about launching and sustaining a career in this industry. Some challenges you're probably going to have to work through. How do you get them talking? Um, the best way to get them talking is for you not to talk, for you to ask questions. So I would encourage you to do that, especially earlier on. We'll be equipping you with uh, some briefs and even some games and some specific questions you can utilize throughout, but get them talking by asking them questions would be my biggest piece of advice. And that's another way to make sure you don't lecture. And if that doesn't work, find common ground. What's your favorite sport? What sport do you play? Who's your favorite athlete? What's your favorite self? follow on social? Whatever that is, find some common ground with these, with these students. How do you know if you're helping them? They probably won't tell you, especially in a virtual environment, it's hard to pick up on vibes. So you might not know, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. And it doesn't mean that you aren't making an impact, but try to be specific with your feedback. Try to be actionable with your feedback. Don't talk about things as conceptual. Say, here's the things that you can do right now as a high school student. And then be authentic. Don't give them some lip service. Like tell them exactly what you wish someone would have told you when you were in high school. So next steps, um, this, uh, this, there's a know before you go email that you'll be receiving 48 hours in advance of your designating session. So for instance, if you're scheduled to speak on um, Tuesday, July 13th, you'll receive that on Friday because that's 48 hours, two business days before your presentation. In that, it's gonna be the AirMeet link. We're using a platform called AirMeet, which is, is really great in the sense that you're gonna be able to sit down at individual tables and have conversations as opposed to like a large room where it's just you seeing you and them seeing and, and them seeing you and you not seeing them. So it's built for conversations. So within that email will be an AirMeet link that you go to. Use a browser, ideally Google Chrome. There's no app. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So ideally you're using Google Chrome. You log in through there 10 minutes before you're supposed to present, which is at 12.50 in advance of the 1.50 p.m. Eastern time slot. Um, and then you'll go in there. There'll be instructions on the table you should be going to. Um, and then you'll be ready to roll. And once again, I mentioned there'll be some cheat codes. There's gonna be some games, some questions, even a suggested flow for conversation. So you have a lot of resources, hopefully, and you feel well-equipped in order to, uh, to have a successful interaction. So thank you again for volunteering. Um, we cannot do this without your support, uh, without you donating your time. So thank you so much. Um, very, very excited about the future of this program and very, very excited about the impact we're gonna make with hundreds of students across the country. So thank you again. My name is Patrick. You can always reach out to myself or Payne Yoder is your, is your most likely your designated point of contact. He's done great work. So um, thanks again. And we will see you uh, 
on July 13th or at some point in the next couple of weeks. Appreciate your time. Bye.